I'm getting pretty tired of you. I need food. I don't care what you need. Look what you've done to me. You not only made a butcher out of me, but you drove my girl away. Shut up and bring on the food. Don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. Who raised your food? and welcome to Creature Features, a program that exudes style, sophistication, refinement, and class by presenting to its viewers such fashionable accessories such as werewolves, zombies, vampires, and vermin. And I'm your humble host, Vincent Van Dahl. The finely attired gentleman on the left portion of your television screen is my loyal valet, Mr. Livingston, and the frighteningly delightful ragamuffin to your right would be my dear companion, Tangella. How are you, love? And you, my good fellow? Quite well, considering that I shall be spending yet another night off contending with this ludicrous program. Worry not, for your efforts shall not be in vain. For tonight's program shall undoubtedly present a culinary delight to those whose dietary intake is devoted entirely to vegetation. Our film is the classic Little Shop of Horrors, which revolves around the tale of a milk toast flower shop operator who nurtures a man-eating plant. We have no doubt that you will laugh out loud at the pure absurdity of an oversized tulip adhering to the strict regimen of the Atkins diet. You know, Livingston, I once dated a lovely woman who was a devout vegetarian. How interesting, sir. Yes, but what was most interesting about this young lady was that she chose this particular dietary preference not because she loved animals, but because she despised plants. <sighs> but I digress. Joining us for tonight's film will be the illustrious Cousin Dave, the host of the remarkably bizarre program, Circus of Chaos. Cousin Dave will acquaint us with his show, share some insight into tonight's film, and will most probably unleash upon us the specific brands of sugary breakfast cereals, which he enjoys the most. So please, make yourselves comfortable for what I promise to be several hours of mirth, bewilderment, stupefaction, and laughter. I am already bewildered that this show is still on the air. You be nice. And you, stay tuned. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Hey, it's Spooky Boo. Trouble sleeping at night? Need a little help? Relax and listen to some spooky, scary stories. I have ghosts and goblins, witches and demons, crazies and clowns. Check out Spooky Boo's Scary Storytime at www.scarystorytime.com. Some moms travel miles for a present, but Cash's mom traveled the country for her child's life. To St. Jude. Yep. Cash was diagnosed in California with a rare cancer. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital tailored a special treatment just for him. Our research helps save kids everywhere. Want to do lunch? Well, someone is feeling a lot better. Go to stjude.org or shop wherever you see the St. Jude logo. Hey, we're Quiet Riot! 
here at the House of Rock in Santa Rosa, and you're watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. And welcome back to the show. We are joined by the illustrious Cousin Dave from Circus of Chaos. I love your show. Blech. That's right. Hey, no, thanks. I do. I, I do genuinely like it. So you're the one, when I see like the Nielsen ratings, it's like one I guy am the watched. One. Oh. I am the one. And I have an analog television, so oh. Nielsen knows oh. when I watch to get a special signal. So there's a chance for Circus of Chaos. Then. Of course. Yeah. I would hope. I mean, if anybody watches our show, they should be watching yours as well. One would hope. Mm. One would believe. So in any case, we're going to watch Little Shop of Horrors with you. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah. You know, it's like Audrey's head just <laughs> eating people. I wish I had a plant like that to get rid of my problems, you know? You know, I, I think it would be useful in some scenarios. Be like, you know, hey, you need some miracle grow, Audrey. You know, it's like dope for that the would plant. Be, that would and be then like the, the an dude comes over, he's like, you owe me money. <laughs> Throw him in there. It's done. I didn't murder anyone. The plan ate the guy. You know, that'd be a good thing to do. So you've seen the film, obviously. Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. I have not seen it. Yeah. Actually, I have seen it once. Yeah. But I was, I slept. I fell asleep halfway well, through. Well, I missed a lot of details. I had a bunch of the Captain Crunch cereal, and then it's like cereal coma. Oh. You know. And then, and then you get that mouth thing. Yeah, it's That's gross. terrible. All right, so it'll almost be like the first time for both of us. Yeah. Right? We Slightly. should check it out. All right. So we're going to talk some more with Cousin Dave. We're going to watch this film. We're going to see some commercials. And then uh, we'll probably see more of Tangela and Livingston later as well. So you stay with us. You stay with us. And we'll be right back after the next break. The most terrifying period in the history of my beat began in a little run-down floor shop called Mushniks. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Shiva. How's things today? Oh, the same as usual, Mr. Mushnik. My sister's nephew, Stanley, died in Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh, what happened? He got blown up. Who knows how? That's nice. Well, you would like, maybe, as usual, some flowers for the funeral. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? I thought possibly, uh, because I always give to you all my funeral business, uh, maybe you should possibly give to me, uh... A little cut rate. Look on me, Mrs. Shiver. What am I, a philatelist? I sell on Skid Row nothing but cheap carnations. And I should give you a cut rate. I can't even afford water for the flowers. To my throat, I would be giving a cut. I dreamt I dwelt in marble halls with vassals... Get up from the back! Excuse me, Mrs. Shiva, that Seymour. He's a nice boy. Why don't you let him see? What? See? Look, here I got a new customer, brand new in the yellow vest. I should let the cleanup boy, what I can't even afford, chase him out right away. <laughs> Flower as fresh as the springtime, Mushniks. Hello? Oh, hello, Dr. Farb. What can I do for you today? Listen, Mushnik, I haven't got much time. Send me over two gladiolas and the fern. Excellent. That's two dozen glads, one potted fern. No, 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 Mushnik. Two gladiolas and one fern. You want I should put two gladiolas in the pot with the ferns? No, one fern, one piece altogether, three pieces. I need it for my waiting room. What? A filling for out. Good, I'll drill a bigger hole. You mean you want two crummy gladiolas and one crummy fern? What kind of a decoration is that? Listen, it's my flower budget for the week. Mushnik. Who can be a dentist on Skid Row? All right, excellent. I'll send Seymour right away. Who am I to argue with science? Mm. Make it snappy. Now you are going to get it. Oh, you are going to get it. Look. Seymour ah! Trailboyne? Now, Mrs. Shiva, we were talking from the funeral flowers, but in the little... Of... funeral... Did you call me Mr. Mushnick? No. I was calling John D. Rockefeller for to make a loan on my Rolls Royce. Sorry I said it. Now look, Seymour. You take two gladiolas. You'll cut them nice and even. 
You'll take one coin, you'll wrap them in a package, and you'll take them to Dr. Farr. Right? Well, go already! Now, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, my name is Burson Fouch. Excellent. I am Gravis Mushnick. Oh, that's a good one. Now, who's going to get my roses? I'll take care of you, Mrs. Schiller. Come right over here. You would like maybe some orchids for a nice girl? No, I think I'd like a couple of dozen carnations. Oh, carnations? A person can't turn around these days that somebody shouldn't drop dead. You've had more than your share of bad luck, Mrs. Sheva. Bad luck, she calls it. You should have so many people kick off. You'd have somebody fall on the top of you, too. What about the carnations? You said you wanted some roses. Yes, for Stanley. My carnations. You should see what that Seymour is. Oh, here are your carnations. Wait, I'll wrap them for you. No, that's you. all right. I'll leave them here. Why not? Of course. What else? They are all right. Well, I've had better. Well, this is a small shop. Oh, that's okay. You know, those big places, they're full of pretty flowers, expensive flowers. When you raise them for looks and smell, you're bound to lose some food value. I like to eat these little out-of-the-way places. Oh, such a thing, eating flowers. Look, don't knock it until you try it, huh? Look what happened. This is what I was trying to tell you before. Look on him, everybody. Look at the quality of his work. I ask you, when I fire him, where is he going to get such another good job? You mean I'm fired? No, I'm electing you president from the United States. Yes, you are fired. Gravis, you can't do that. Who, who can't? I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. You never mean it. You didn't mean it the time you put up the bouquet with the get well card in the funeral parlor and sent the black lilies to the old lady in the hospital. You didn't mean it. But this time, I, Gravis Mushnik, mean it. He means it. But gee, Mr. Mushnick, don't I always try to do what's right? And I'm crazy about flowers. I like flowers almost as much as Audrey does. Excellent. You're fired. Why don't you give him a chance to resurrect himself? I give him a chance to quit. I ain't gonna quit. You're a brave boy. You're fired. But that ain't fair, Mr. Mushnick. You know what I'm doing? I'm working on a special surprise plant just for you. I'm growing a plant like you ain't never seen before. Excellent. I can't even sell the plants I got in my shop out, you. Now, wait a minute. He's got a new kind of plant you want to look at. I don't look on flowers, Mr. Yellow Vest. I got ancestors in the flower business for 200 years, but I got one shop on Skid Row, one stinking shop. I don't even like flowers. No, you don't understand what I mean. Look, I've eaten in flower shops all over the world, and I've noticed that the places that have the most weird and unusual plants do the best business. See? 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 What is this, a tango? All right. Explain me more. Well... I remember one place that had a whole wall covered with poison ivy. And people came from miles around to look at that wall, and they stayed to buy. The owner got rich. No. He scratched himself to death in an insane asylum. Oh, that was my cousin Harry. All right. All right. You go home, and you get this fancy schmancy plant, and you bring it back here. And if Mr. Yellow Vest Fouch says it's a draw, you still got a job. If he don't, out you go to Bodie, right? Don't worry. You'll like it. You'll see. K. You've been listening to Music for Old Invalids. Our next selection is entitled Sick Room Serenade. Seymour, is that you? Yeah, Ma. Get in here and look at my tongue. But Ma, I already seen your tongue. Have you no sympathy for your poor mother? Laughing at her and mocking her illness and she's got one foot in the grave? Oh, I didn't mean it. Oh, you never mean it. Oh, come on, look at my tongue. A tongue's a tongue, Ma. They all look the same to me. Oh. Did you stop at Dr. Mallard's and get the results of my tests? Yeah, he said there's nothing wrong with you. Oh, no, Dr. Mallard. He, he's one doctor I thought would tell the truth. He said you should be playing fullback for the Rams. He wants me dead. I'll bet he's assistant coroner. Ma, I got a guy. Hey, and I know I've got my goiters coming back. I can feel it every morning after breakfast. Yeah, that's when you take those great... Oh! 
what you got? A little surprise for me? Open it up and see. All right. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Dr. Slurp Saddle's famous tonic. Oh, wait here. To be taken internally or externally for pain and neuritis, neuralgia, headache. If hit by a truck, call your physician. Alcoholic contact, 98%. <laughs> Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Vincent, this is Tangella, and we just want to remind you we've got a wonderful website. It's at creaturefeatures.tv, and at that location we've got things like previous episodes, our merchandise, we've got photographs of the entire gang, including Tangella and her hideous friend. So be sure to come see our site. You'll love it. Welcome back to the show. We are watching Little Shop of Horrors with Cousin Dave. So, Cousin Dave, how are things? Cousin Dave. Earth to Cousin Dave. Huh? This is what? This is great, oh, man. That's a remote for my it's television. It's a coffin remote. It's you, a coffin phone. It's something. Who knows? Who cares? Buy one now. Where'd you, you get this, man? You're going to rewind the movie to the oh, wrong Oh, crap. Part. No, I'm sorry. I'm not. Okay. Right. I didn't know this controlled the movie. Well, of course it does. You should play with a mirror. Oh, no. I don't want to see no? that crap. No. Oh. Hey, c oh. question. Can you get lice from a skull like this? You know, I think it's been sanitized okay. by candle wax. Because I don't want to, you know, it's just, it's just gross, man. So scratch. what do you think of this film? I love Little Shop of Horrors. You know what I didn't realize? It's like people, when you say, hey, Little Shop of Horrors, they're thinking of Rick Moranis and you know, no, the version with yeah, blood yeah. and color. This is the original this Little Shop of Horrors. This is the true, actual thing. Yeah, it's, it's the original. Well, you know, and Livingston chooses the films, and he would not show us the color one. Yeah, no, he likes the black and white. Uh, he does. Yeah, I no. It, yeah. You got to appreciate a little black and white. All right, enough about the movie. Let's talk about you oh. and your show. So how did you come up with the idea of, like, making a whole clown show you know, chaos circus thing? Ah, uh, you know, I try really hard. I'm like, I'm going to produce TV. I want to make TV. And the problem is we just, things don't get very professional. Sometimes people die on the show. You know, the equipment gets fouled up. There's a lot of... It's like Spinal Tap and the and the drummer. Yeah, it's like bloopers, right. man. Everyone's screwing everything up, man. Nothing's... It's like we... Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. A show of just bloopers. We're trying to be media professionals, and it, we can't seem to get our crap together. No. Can I say crap? I think so. Oh, good. Right. Do you say it on your show? We got to bleep stuff. Everyone's foul. I try to keep a, run a tight ship. 
and it's just like a tight what? Nothing. Oh. Yeah. All right. It's it's good though. So do you enjoy doing this though? I don't know. I you know some days I'm like ah oh, I need I need to get some different people in there. And, Wait, that's what uh, baffles me is you have so many people on your staff. Ah, oh, and they're all pains Cast in the ass. Cast members. Asses. What do you what do you call them? The, I got clowns. I got a dinosaur. No, well, I know you've got that, but like, what do you call all the members? Are they actors? Are they cast members? Are they friends? Rejects. I, I don't know, man. It just it, it's. You have so many. I wonder how you manage. Right? You know, we usually got like a guest, and then Tangela and Livingston, and that's all I've got to contend with. And you've got like, it's like a circus of chaos. I don't know. I don't know how to say no. Hey, could I? Yeah, whatever. Okay, fine. I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to. This guy wants lasagna. Now, there's like someone found a rat. I don't care. Now that someone else wants to be on the show, they brought in a friend. I'm like, this isn't part of the script. And what are we? Okay, so now, you know, it's like life, man. You watch the news and there's this bad thing and that. And it's like out of control. You can't control this stuff. But you know why we produce this show? Why? We need a good distraction in this world. Well, I'm certainly distracted at the moment. Yeah. And we need to get back to this film. I, I, let's keep watching this. I want let's to see more it. people get eaten. All right. I, I think it's going to happen. Yeah. Hopefully. Soon. All right. Stay with us, Cousin Dave. You stay with us at home, and we'll be right back after the break. I put this on my bill. Well, here it is, everybody. What do you think of it? Well... It sure is different. It looks delicious, but don't you think it's kind of stale? Well, it hasn't been feeling too well. You call that a fancy plant? It looks like it never spent an LT day in its entire life. I don't care. I like it anyway. You, you like even skunk cabbage. Yeah. What kind of a plant is this, Seymour? Well, I'm not sure. I got the seeds from a Japanese gardener over on Central Avenue. He found them in with an order he got from a plantation next to a cranberry farm. Fine, fine. You don't even know what is this plant you're growing. Well, well I gave it a name. What name? Oh, gee. What? You gave it a dirty name? You can't even mention it? Well, I named it Audrey Jr. <gasps> you named it after me? Oh, really? Well, that's the most exciting thing anyone's ever done to me. You poor kid. I don't think it's so much I should keep on spending $10 a week on your salary. But Gravis, he named it after me. I know, and if they keep it, they'll name it Mushnik's Folly because I'll be in jail for non-payment of taxes. Are you crazy? Who, who? You, you. That's probably the only plant of its kind in the world. Don't you realize if Seymour can nurse that thing back to health, you'll have people coming here from all over? You think so, you found I know so, you Mushnik. Now, that's all I'm saying on the subject. Besides, I've got to get home. My wife's making gardenias for dinner. Good night, you pals. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Crazy about kosher flowers. He's a nice man. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. Maybe he's not so stupid. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll keep you and this dumbbell junior for a week. If you can noise it back to LG, you both can stay. If you can't, you're both fired. Oh, gee, thank you, Mr. Mushnik. Don't feel sad, Seymour. Don't waste your pity on me, Audrey. I'm not worth it. Who says you're not? Everybody. Yeah, I know. But I think you're a fine figurative of a man, and, and I know that Audrey Jr. will be the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. Well, I don't know. I've given it every kind of fancy fertilizer and atomic plant food and distilled mineral water you can buy, but it just gets sicker and sicker. Don't worry. You're going to be another Luther Glendale. Pasadena. Burbank. Good night, Seymour. Good night, Audrey. What's the matter, little plant? Haven't I done everything I could for you? Where did I goof? You're the first little plant I ever tried to grow, and if you die, I don't know what I'll do. Please don't die. I'll get you some water, okay? Opened up just like you do every night at sunset. I wish I knew how to make you grow. Here, let me move this out of your way so you can breathe. Ow! 
Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Hey, what happened? How come you woke up? Blood? You like blood? Oh, you must be kidding. Well, we'll see. what I'm doing for you. Ow! Oh, who would have thought it? Well, I guess there's just no accounting for people's tastes. Him, Audrey. Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he delicious? Isn't he got the two dollar raise? What happened to your fingers? Bee stings. Uh, so how come I'm all of a sudden so wonderful? Five bees, one from each finger? Ten bees. Did you say I was getting a two dollar raise? Correct, my very excellent Seymour. Ten bees. What did I do now? Don't you know what you did? Just look. Oh boy, look at that. It grew. It's almost a foot long. Isn't it empirical? It grows like a cold sore from the lip. Oh, hello, young pretty ladies. What can Gravis Mushnik do for you? Well, we saw your sign outside. About the Audrey Jr. So we thought we'd come in and take a look. Well, give a look. That makes four people a day who've come in just to look at it. Oh, did sure. Is that just too much? Oh, what kind of plant is it? It's an Audrey Jr. Where was it you got in trouble with 10 bees? Well, is that all? I mean, doesn't it have a scientific name? Yes, of course, but who could denounce it? You oh, would like maybe wow. to buy something. Well, we don't have any money. Except $2,000. But that's just to spend on flowers. So we don't have any of our own. Isn't that a drag? You got just $2,000 just for to spend on flowers? Mm -hmm. That's right. Who died? The Chamber of Commerce? Well, we're from Cucamonga High School. And we're building a float for the Rose Bowl Parade. Which is made out of flowers. Thousands of them. And we're on the committee that picks the florist. And then glues on the flowers. <sighs> oh. Gee, that sure is a mad plant. Wow, yeah. Seymour here invented it. He did! Oh, thousands of oh, girls, yeah, girls, yeah. girls, 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 please don't oh. damage the horticulturist. Tell me, how come you don't buy all these thousands of flowers from Gravis Mushnik? My flowers got something the others don't. What's that? They're cheap. Well, gee, if your shop is good enough to develop the Audrey Jr., I guess it can get us everything we need. Yeah, we'll talk it over with the rest of the committee. Excellent. Well, we gotta run now. Bye, all. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye, girls. A son. A son. Look, Audrey. I got a son. Oh, gee, Mr. Mushnik. What, Mr. Mushnik? I don't want you should call me Mr. Mushnik anymore. I want you should call me Dad. Okay, Dad. Isn't that beautiful? Seymour Krellboyn, come over here, my son. I want to talk on you about the future. Look on this fly trap. Look on it. Soon we got no more skid row. We will be rich, us. I am building for you a giant greenhouse in which you are making impossible flowers, which in turn I am selling at ridiculous prices in my giant new flower saloon in Beverly Hills. Do you see that big sign in the sky? It is saying, Gravis Mushnik in French. Isn't it exciting? And we'll have an orchestra right by the cash register. And Gravis will wave his arms, and the orchestra will play Mendelssohn's spring song. And I'll come out in a gown wrapped by somebody expensive and say... The carnations are $600 a dozen, two dozen for a thousand. It's a bargain. Get them while they last. Stop shouting. My uncle Marsh's brother Yankel just passed away, trying to fly New Jersey. Tell me. How much are the carnations today? The carnations are $600 a dozen. Why are they letting him run around loose? Please, please excuse my son, Mrs. Shiva. Just point anything in the store and it is yours. <laughs> That's right. The cash register, maybe, huh? Ah, wait a minute. Here. Here are several dozen carnations on the house, courtesy of Gravis Mushnik, the Bloom Tycoon. That's my dad. Thanks. Thanks very much. Only tell me, why are you so happy? 
Not only did my uncle Moshe's brother and uncle die, trying to bring new joy, see? You should also give some flowers to that poor dead plant there. Good morning, Mr. Mushnik. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Shiver. Look what happened to my plant, Dad. Who are you calling Dad? Who, who? Oh, no. And it was so beautiful just a few seconds ago. Excellent. Just a few seconds ago, I gave away dozens of carnations free to Mrs. Shiver. I didn't mean it. You have perhaps an explanation. No, but if you give me a minute, I'll think of one. I can see it all now. We are in the poorhouse. That big sign in the sky, it is reading, Seymour Krellboyne, rest in peace, in Arabic. Oh, you've got to give him another chance. You promised me a week, Mr. Mushnik. I'll sit up all night with that plant. It'll be healthy in the morning, you'll see. I promise. I promise. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Everyone will want to know how you began. The world is obsessed with the origin story. What's your story? You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Mm. Just the scariest undead subhuman mm. thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> So that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're they're blocked too. It's coffin time! The arranger one, king! Hi, I'm Catherine Sutherland from Power Rangers, and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. Go, go, Power Rangers! And welcome back to the show. Cousin Dave had to step out to the clown car to go check his something, right? I haven't the vaguest idea, so. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to do letters because we like doing letters and we like reading the letters you sent to us because you went to all the trouble to do it. What do we got, Livingston? We have a fan from Sunnyvale. What in God's name is that? Don't ask. Oh, my goodness. Another one? Tangella, if... You keep lopping off the heads of all your suitors. I'll never be able to marry you off. You gotta take away your axe or he something. D he didn't last very long, sir. So. All right, our first letter is from Tony in Sunnyvale. That's close to San Jose, right? I believe so. Right. He says, hi, Vincent. I just want to let you know that I love your show. Well, we love you too, Tony. Uh, I am also a longtime fan of all the Creature Feature programs and look forward every Saturday night to what you are up to and what interesting guests you will have that night. Your fan, Tony in Sunnyvale. Well, thank you, Tony. Appreciate that. And next up is a letter 
Modesto. Oh, Modesto. We, we love Modesto, right? We were there. I do. This is from Garland Davenport. Dear Vince, I don't know what kind of trickery you're trying to pull with all this my hair isn't a wig nonsense. I thought we were going to filter these out. Your hair is obviously fake. It doesn't even look like hair. If your hair is real, then I'll eat my hats. It's pretty real. This is our makeup girl, Katie, and she uh, will tell you under oath, you raise your right hand. Is this my real hair? It sure is. And it's real, right? Very real. Unfortunately. Right. So, uh, uh, Garland, bon appetit. Off you go, Katie. All right, and our last letter is from? San Rafael. San Rafael. You know, if I understood Spanish, I would know what that means. Do you know what it means? Saint Rafael. Well, I know that, but... That's it? Raphael is not like a dish? No. No. All right. So this is from Johnny Rad. Is that a real name? Rad? R-A-D? I assume it is. Dear Sir Vincent Vandal Vandal. Oh, he's using my old stage name, sort of. What would you deem your favorite horror film soundtrack of all time? I would lean towards Christoph Komita's Rosemary's Baby and Jerry Goldsmith's the Omen. Well, Johnny, I would lean towards the Bee Gees and staying alive in Saturday Night Fever because that gives me nightmares. All right. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Johnny. And uh, that's it for letters. If you would like to send us a letter, it goes to the address down here. Maybe we'll read it on the air and maybe we won't. Stay with us. Talk. I got a talking plant. Say it again. Feed me. Oh, boy. I never been to college and I ain't been around much. But I'd have been willing to bet there ain't no such thing as a talking plant. But I'll take your word for it. Gee, Junior, I'd, I'd like to feed you. But I used up all my fingers. Well, look at me. I'm all cut to pieces. But... Maybe I can find another drop here someplace. That's the best I can do. Mur, mur. But I'm already anemic. Feed me mur. Gee, Junior, I'd be happy to give you anything I got, but I gotta keep a little blood for myself or I'll be in worse shape than Mom. Hmm. I'm sorry, Junior. Well, I'll go for a walk. Maybe I'll think of something.
cow hound. Don't bother me. I got problems of my own. Feed me. I'm sorry, pal. I'm fresh out of blood. Talk to somebody else. <laughs> I'm hungry. I don't care what you are. Can't you see I'm knocked out? I just killed a man. I'm a murderer. You think it's fun to be a murderer? You think it's fun to haul around a sack full of food? Oh, no, Junior. What kind of guy do you think I am? <laughs> I'm starved. Well, maybe just a snack. That looks great. <laughs> now that is what I call a salad. What do you call that salad? Cesarean. Well, before the next course, I think I'll have a nice cigar. All right? You would like maybe a cigar? <laughs> you don't smoke cigars. What am I thinking about? Where are the matches? Oh, oh, you know what I found? What? I'm looking for the matches, and I found I left the money in the other suit. Here's your mock chicken leg. You don't have any money? So what else is new? All right, all right. I made a mistake. After all, a man is entitled. Go on, this is your story. I'll wait for the punch. Don't get smart with me, girlie. I'll have you know that in my shop in the cash register, I'm having the total day's receipts, which is summing up to more than nine dollars. You'll bring the rest of the food, then I'll go to the shop and get the money. You're playing my favorite song. Now look here, Buster. One of you is going to go down right now and get the loot while the other one stays here until the first one gets back, if you get what I mean. Oh, fine. In this fancy schmancy restaurant, you are holding hostages, right? All right. Excellent. You eat up, Audrey. I'll be back in a flash with the cash. Bye, Gravis. Rum, wine, gin, bourbon. What? Scotch, rye, tequila, sake, manischewitz. Did you bring the money? Don't bug me with the money. I got to get drunk now. What flipped him? I don't know. Look here. Here, take it. Bring me anything. Bring me everything. Cram the mint. Everything you got. Okay. Gravis, what happened? Don't ask. You look like you've seen a ghost. Ghosts I could handle. Don't ask. Why don't you tell me? Maybe I could help you. Help you couldn't. Try and eat something. It'll calm your aggravation. In my own shop. Audrey, you wouldn't believe it. I wish you'd break out and tell me. All right, I'll tell you tomorrow, right after I am telling the police. This is your Mac. 
It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Hey, it's Spooky Boo. Trouble sleeping at night? Need a little help? Relax and listen to some spooky, scary stories. I have ghosts and goblins, witches and demons, crazies and clowns. Check out Spooky Boo's Scary Storytime at www.scarystorytime.com. Do you need caffeine just to start your day? Are you dragging in the afternoons craving sweets? Ever feel like your stomach is the bottomless pit? You're not alone, and there's nothing wrong with you. You're just eating the wrong foods. If you seek radiant health, increased stamina, or weight loss, you need to be including more raw fruits and vegetables in your diet. So let Sonoma County's own certified raw food educator, Natalie Norman, teach you how. Visit natalienorman.com for delicious, easy recipes, meal plans, kitchen tools, and support. Get started living your happiest, healthiest life today. So this film, it looks like another low budget Roger Corman film. It looks like a play. It looks like it could have been done on a stage. I mean, I know all about low budget. I mean, I'm low budget right now. I'm going to go sleep in the car tonight. That's well, a low budget I'm feeling, right? Well, I, mean, low took budget. Me I mean, look, we, I've got to shoot in my house. Yeah. Can I just sleep here tonight? It, it just save just, money? We've got extra, you know, we've got a room that you would love, right? It's allegedly haunted by a clown. A former, yeah. former clown. There's not a clown. A dead person cannot be a clown, right? Ooh, yeah. No, yeah. That's right. You ever watch that show, The Walking Dead? Oh, all the time, man. Why don't we ever see clowns as zombies? I already asked them that. Nicotero. Yeah? No, they're making it very generic. You got to go to world. What is that other that's zombie too bad. show? They just all see right. Clowns, yeah. So we're like neighbors, though, right? On television? Yeah. Your show is before the show. I love airing my show before your show. You're, you're like the opening act. Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. I'm like that guy that everyone's but like, we well, should we'll be listen to one song and then, yeah. We'll we should on. be opening for you. No. Right? No, no one will, everyone will be asleep by the time my show comes on. Oh. Yeah. Well, all right. But I love all it. Right. I guess it's better to be the opening act. No. We, yeah, gotta... we should have applied that to rock and roll as well, because if you think, you know, people are happier and more energetic with the first band. And by the time the last band comes, they're like, oh, I want to go home. Stop playing your guitar. Yeah, it's like, hey, Metallica, then Joe Davis. I don't even know who that is. You right. know, but hey, whatever. So these people on your show, I, I, I love them. You've got the man who plays the guitar. What's That's his Uncle name? Schmarm. Schmarm. I, Schmarm. I screw his name up. He's my uncle, right. but hey, what do you want me to do? Right, right. He's quite talented. Yeah. And then you've also got that beast. That's Hatchet. He's oh. a real pain in the rear, man. Hatchet is what kind well, of creature? He's a dinosaur. He survived somehow. So oh. Like a velociraptor. Like the Diet Coke of a velociraptor. Well, he's so small, he must have been able to hide during all the chaos. I don't know. You know what? He, he cleans up the, anything that dies on the set. He's like, hey, can I eat that? Whatever. Just get, stop talking. 
Well, you know, I've been lucky, I think, because you, you have actual death on your set. And we have, like, post-mortem things with the things that... <sighs> Tangella, it was another one of her creations. Yeah, I, you know, I really find that. her like fascinating, but I, I gotta like, you know, have a distance because I don't want to lose like a thumb. She's, she's like, she's like a, a chihuahua. She's snippy, Oof. but she's sweet. So, I hang out with Livingston, sit and count koi or something. Livingston's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, most of the time. Huh. All right, what do you think? Should we get back to this film? Yeah, yeah. let's watch it and eat more people. Eat more right. plant-eating right. people. So we're going to get back to Little Shop of Horrors, not with Rick Moranis. And when we come back, Cousin Dave is going to tell us something horrible about his, his show. Oh, Stay with it. us. But Mushnick didn't come to the police. If he had, that might have been the finish of the unhappy story. It was not. interested in selling a half interest to in this place, huh? Mr. Mushnick, we talked to the committee, and they said we could use your flower on the float. And guess what? We're going to feature Audrey Jr. Right on top. Boy. Can't you just picture it? I can picture it. Oh, won't the people just eat it up? Eat up the people. And we're going to have the big part of it open, so she can sit in it. Oh. The queen, with her crown and scepter. She'll be so cute. Oh, you can just eat her up. Eat up the girls. Oh, they're famous! Oh, oh, my God, I got a toothache. Oh, I got a toothache. It hurts. Oh, let go of my jaw. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Now, Seymour, oh. talk on me. I got a toothache. What do you want to talk about? That plant. Is that a nice subject for to talk? The plant. The plant is great. It's, it's four times bigger than it was yesterday. I saw. I saw. How come the plant is now so big? Oh, I don't know. But look at all them people out there. We only been open a half hour. We already done seventy dollars worth of business. Eighty-five. Now look, Seymour. You gave this plant a fancy name, Audrey Jr. But I want to know right now, what do just people call it? Well, it's a cross between a Butterworth and a Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap. And what are the habits of this Venus flytrap? Well, the book says it eats insects. It eats them three times in its life, and then it's full grown. Excellent. And how many times is this one eat? Well. Once or twice. You don't remember? Well, this is kind of an unusual type fly trap. That is a possibility. It may never eat again. I don't see how it could get any bigger. Then you think it don't need any more flies? Yeah. Oh, my tooth is just killing me. All right, excellent. You run along to the dentist. I'll take care of things here. Thanks, boss. Gravis, we've got to order more flowers, tons of them. I'm making lots of money. <laughs> Open up. Uh huh. Ah. Ah, ah. Does that hurt? Yeah. Good. You haven't felt anything yet. Uh huh. It's just over here. Seymour, who is the dentist here? You or me? I'll find that tooth. Mm hmm. Uh 
Uh-huh. Look at that stalagmite. Uh, but don't worry, it's going to be an easy one, Seymour. I won't even use Novocaine. Oh, you broke the mirror in my mouth. Well, don't tell me about it, stupid. Just swallow it. Uh, all right, yes. Let's see now, Seymour. See, I'll have this one and this one and that one, and I have to have this one, it's Seymour. It's only one, two. Seymour, who is the dentist here, you or me? Are you practicing dentistry without a license? No. All right. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, oh, shh. Seymour, uh, Seymour, uh, don't uh, be mad. Uh, 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 look at that. Will you look at that, Seymour? I didn't know you were an elk. Uh, you know, I can't afford an assistant. So I get this ready instant mix. It doesn't last very long, but it tastes good. Mm. All right, Seymour. Oh, stay away from me. Sing. Uh, uh, You're oh. trying to kill me. A duel. Aha. Who? <laughs> Stoddard's office? Uh, just a minute. <clears throat> oh, yes. <laughs> I see it is. <laughs> uh, you, you can come in now. <laughs> My name is Wilberforce. Wilberforce what? Just... Wilbur Force. My first name is Wilbur. My last name is Force. <laughs> I don't have a middle name. Well, you have an appointment, maybe? No, but you were very highly recommended to me by one of your patients, a Mrs. Eshiva. I do a lot of undertaking for her relatives. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have a customer now, and I'm all booked up for the rest of the day, so you'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, I couldn't do that. I have three or four abscesses, a touch of pyorrhea, nine or ten cavities, I lost my pivot tooth, and I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> well, I, I can't help you today. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll just wait outside. <laughs> the patient came to me with a large hole in his abdomen. <laughs> caused by a fire poker used on him by his wife. <laughs> he almost bled to death and gangrene had set in. I didn't give him much of a chance. There were other complications. <laughs> the man had cancer, tuberculosis, leprosy, and a touch of the grip. <laughs> I decided to operate. My, my patient just left. You, you could come in now. Oh, goody. <laughs> I didn't see the other man leave. Well, he went out the back door. You know, most people don't like to go to the dentist, but I rather enjoy it myself, don't you? I mean, there's such, there's a real feeling of growth, of, of <laughs> progress when that, that old drill goes in. I mean, I'd almost rather go to the dentist than anywhere, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> now, no Novocaine. It dulls the senses. <laughs> this is gonna hurt you more than it is me. Oh, goody, goody, here it comes. <laughs> oh, my God, don't stop now! Well, I made a lot of holes, and now I gotta fill it up with this here silver stuff. Well, aren't you gonna pull any? Well, uh... Oh, go on. Well... Your mouth. Well, Dr. Favre, it's been quite an afternoon. I can truly say I've never enjoyed myself so much. I'll recommend you to all my friends. Thank you. Bye. Bye now. Feed me. Oh, take it easy, Dracula. What do you think I'm carrying here, my dirty laundry?
should be enough for anybody. Well, goodbye, Dr. Farr. You may have been a crummy dentist, but you were a nice fella. I never meant to kill anybody in my whole life. I've killed two in the last two days. Well, but you asked for it coming after me with that knife and all. Fun voyage, Dr. Farr. You want anything else? <coughs> See you in the morning. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. I'm Crazy Boots Martin. And James the Red. At the NorCal Pirates Festival. And you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. Welcome back. We're still watching Little Shop of Horrors with Cousin Dave from Circus of Chaos. Bleep. Yeah, ah. this is probably the most active guest I've had in 52 episodes. Active guest? I'm like disgustingly overweight. I'm ready to No, like, pass I mean out, like man. you're just so animated. I love it. You made me almost sound like, like a yoga star. No, it's almost like the plant in the film. And he's now talking like you. I love, here's the problem with a talking plant. Let's say we're crime associates. We got right. our talking plant. We're taking right. care of our problems, right. throwing dudes in there or whatever. And then it's like, it, the, it's a problem. Because then it's going to turn into like the macaw. That's like, he shot his wife. Right. And that's then, a good point. It becomes exhibit A. <laughs> and then we're and in jail. Trial. And right. now you know what's going to happen. All right. Well, I think if we were crime partners in crime. Yeah. We should just stick with the old wood chipper it's right. not gonna talk that's true recreate fargo hey you know that was a good film yeah did you like it loved it i thought it was oh geez a true coat oh, oh. You, you do the voice quite well ah that's my my deal wade and the stamps the whole thing with the stamps oh with the man painting mm. the stamps hey, can you imagine a job like that where you have to Paint Keep stamps. me out of trouble. I'd just be like, like a ship in the bottle. The poor mm. man probably spends hours on this thing and only only gets what thirty five cents. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this film. Yep, Little Shop of Horrors. We're watching it with cousin Dave. So you guys have to stay with us. I know it's late, but who cares? It's Saturday. Come in. Hey, 
Joe. Come on in, Frank. How's the wife, Frank? Not bad, Joe. Glad to hear it. The kids? Lost one yesterday. Lost one, eh? How'd that happen? Playing with matches. Well, those are breaks. Yeah, I guess so. Got a strange one here. Railroad people say they lost one of their best detectives the other night. Oh, yeah? Down by the yards. He's watching the refrigerator cars. Refrigerator cars? Ice thieves. Oh, yeah? What happened? Don't know. Vanished. Blood on tracks. Clues? None. Anything else? Dennis. Fogg. Dead? Missing. Clues? Blood in office. Where? Skid Row. Ideas? None. Check it out? Yeah. Now we are on the case. Officer Frank Stooley and me. My name is Fink. Sergeant Joe Fink. I'm a Fink. me. Don't you like me to kiss you? Yeah, but you don't like to kiss me. Why shouldn't I? Nobody else ever did. Well, I do like to. You do? You really do? You like to kiss me? Sure I do. Would you like to kiss me again? Okay. That plant? Oh, boy, you kiss good, Audrey. Oh, I guess I just have a good kisser. How, how, how did it? Did, did, did. Would you like to go out on a date with me some night? When? Oh, sure I would, Seymour. Anytime. Tonight? Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, about that plant. We got the list of flowers for the float, for the rose parade. I can't talk to you now, girls. Talk on all three. Well, we got the list for the float. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay. Hi, right, what's cooking? Look at my plant. My, what a large one. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Shiva. What's new? Oh, I, I got terrible news. My nephew Frankie just lost his little boy. Oh, that's too bad. How did it happen? He was playing with matches. Would you like to buy maybe some flowers? Yeah, about 50 cents worth. Well, I'll get them for you. Look at my plant. Oh, I'm looking. Your name Gravis, much name? Look, I'm a motion at Gravis. I think that's my name. Just want to ask you a few questions. Questions ask me. Just about. want to ask you a few questions. I, I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever. Ever see this man? Man, see picture. Or none. Why are you so nervous? You got a guilty conscience? No, why should I? Ever see this man? Man, uh, see the, the, the picture, Dr. Farb. So you know him? My dentist. Uh, he, he, he maybe did something. Disappeared. Blood in his office. The other man, too. Blood in the railroad tracks. And a few spare parts. Oh, the, 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 the Dr. Farb is murdered. Is he? No, who knows? Not me. What do you think? He doesn't know anything. Okay, Mushnik. If you hear anything about these men, call our office. Sure, I'll be glad to cooperate with the police. Hello, I'm sitting. Oh, isn't it terrible what happened to your boy, Frankie? Those are the brakes. All right, Seymour. Now you tell me if that plant is finished all grown up. He's finished all growing up. You wouldn't kid your father. My father came home. Me, idiot! It's a finger of speech. Now look. I can't stand any more that plant. It's growing me out of house and home. Well, it ain't gonna grow anymore, I promise. How can you be so sure? It ate three times already. Who, I mean, what did it eat this time? Well, about, about a million Japanese beetles. So don't eat no more. It's full. Grab it. There's a lady from some kind of a commitment outside. I think it's important. Excellent. By the by, I understand you want to take Audrey out on a date tonight. That's very good with me, because I am staying to keep an eye on that Meshugana plant. Where are we going to go tonight, Seymour? Oh, 
Oh, I just remembered. I don't have any money. Well, that's okay. We could take a walk along the ocean or something. I got a great idea. We can eat dinner at my house. My mom's a great cook. Well, that's swell. Oh, boy, I'll call her later and tell her. Oh, that's remarkable. You like? Oh, I neither like nor dislike anything, my goodness. I happen to represent the Society of Silent Flower Observers of Southern California. How about that? Tell me, who created this magnificent bloom? I did, me. Oh, and what might your name be? Seymour Krellboyn with a K. Krellboyn. Krellboyn. Raised it in the coffee can. This? Uh, well, th tell me, Mr. Krellboyn, uh, is this a freak or, or can more be raised from the seed? We should live so long. Well, I don't think there are going to be any more, Miss... Uh... Uh, Fischtwanger. Mrs. Hortense Fischtwanger. Uh, I think this is going to be the only one, Mrs. Fischtwanger. Fischtwanger. Fischtwanger? Uh, it's probably indigestible anyway. At any rate, I have the honor to tell you, Seymour Krellboyne, that you have been selected to receive the annual trophy of the Society of Silent Flower Observers of Southern California. A trophy? Me? Such is justice. Uh, tell me, when do you suppose those large buds will open? Well, according to what the book says about the plants that I crossed, they should open day after tomorrow at sunset. Ah, very well. Then I shall return at that time to present the trophy. Good day. Remarkable. Oh, boy, I'm going to get a trophy. Oh, Seymour, I'm so proud of you. Oh, a real trophy. For Audrey Jr. We can put it on the floor. In the rose parade. Oh, boy. Don't look at me. I I'm a terrible sight. I I'm a complete sea hag. She always says that. Oh, well, it's true. I haven't been feeling very well lately. Audrey, this is my ma, Winifred Krellboing. Ma, this is Audrey Fulquart. She's my girl. Hi, Audrey. Are you hungry? I sure am. I could eat a hearse. Oh, <laughs> well, sit right down, and I'll go get the first course. <laughs> sit here, Audrey. You want me to take your sweater? Oh. Yes. Never mind that. Uh, well, well, now try this. <coughs> it tastes like cough syrup. Dr. Flynn's cough syrup. A toast? To Audrey Jr. No, to Audrey Sr. Keep an eye on you. I don't let nobody get near you. Here comes the soup. I don't touch it till I get the, the flavoring. <laughs> Gee, Audrey, you sure look good by candlelight. Oh, do I really see more? Yeah. Here you are. I'll try it. Sure smells different. It's different. Some kind of oil, isn't it? God, liver oil. It's wonderful for the colon. And that's sulfur powder on the top. I didn't hear it. 
need me. I heard it. I want food. A talking plant we got. I'm hungry. No. Hungry? And other fine kettle and fish. Who would you like to have tonight? You look fat enough. We not only got a talking plant, we got one that makes with smart cracks. Will you listen to me, you botanical bum? Food you wouldn't get. Not from Gravis Mushnik. I'm starved. Excellent. You would unpopulate the old skid row. Well, you can forget about it. You wouldn't get fed from Gravis Mushnik tonight. Good night. You'll get yours. It's Spooky Boo. Trouble sleeping at night? Need a little help? Relax and listen to some spooky, scary stories. I have ghosts and goblins, witches and demons, crazies and clowns. Check out Spooky Boo's Scary Storytime at www.scarystorytime.com. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Kids will spend 15 minutes watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Hi, I'm Linda Blair, and if you want to be scared, stay tuned on North Bay Television, coming up. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to the show. Cousin Dave wanted to uh, do something unusual on this show. He wants to have a contest. You know what? I Every time I show up somewhere, I'm like, ah, I give stuff away free. They don't think I'm going to kill them. And, you know, try to be just make friends with everyone. Well, it's close right? to Christmas. And it's close to Christmas. So and you, you've got this lovely shade of red that I'm still enamored with. I had to get a new outfit. I got blood on the last one. So All right. It's so garbage. But hey. We're doing trivia. Okay. So I have a question. I got Blu-rays to give away. And I want to know. First question. Which... This is for us. You, you cannot play at home. You could play in your head. but Or if you see me at a Comic-Con, then you could be like, yes. hey, well, yes. maybe I'll give you something. Yes. Or not. Yeah. Okay. Which actor appeared in the Alien, Terminator, and Predator franchise? I don't actor know. was in each one. Well, I do I've not, not watch such films. I've not seen any of these films. Come on. I think it was, um, it was, it was, it had to have been. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, uh, no, no. Was it? Arnold was in Terminator. Right. And Predator. He oh. never appeared in Aliens, but you know who it was? Who? It was Bill Paxton. Oh. He got to be in each one of them. See, she knows. All right, here's a bonus one for Tangella, and then All I'll right. just let her All pick right. out of the, you could have All anything right. you want. Which 
Predator movie was he in? Part one, two, or three? Oh, good girl, Tangela. You know, she has time. She has time. Pick a blue ray. She has time to watch these programs. Pick a blue ray. You got look, always there's working. three. Oh, that's for later, but look. Hey, oh. all right. Maybe you and I can hang out. We'll watch Transformers together. We'll play Autobots and Decepticons. Right? What do you think? This is wonderful. No, yeah. I no, I just want to look. That's hers, man. You I know it's yours. You ain't taking that. You should see the face she's giving me. Yeah, no, you should probably kill a man if he takes that. All right. All right. All ha! Right. Look at that. I made a friend. Well. <laughs> be careful this kind of friendship. All right. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Any more trivia? Well, I don't know. Do you want to win a okay, question? Okay, yeah. I, I got to win something. All right. You want to try? Let's do it. All right. Antarctica. Winter. Right. 1982. Outpost right. 31. What movie right. am I talking about with Walter Brimley and it, Kurt it, Russell? It, oh, it was like a zebra movie, right? Hey, one of your crew guys is gonna Sunday. get. The, hey, he won, man. You're you're out. Well, you're out. He gets one. Well, he eats, that's it. Yeah. It, you it. know, there should be a rule that. Boom! Done. You got the it. The director cannot win prizes hey, on the show. I, I believe there's laws in the U.S. code. He Get left. to the union. Right, I find right. this all very confusing. I don't know. Does he all have right. a Blu-ray player? I do not. Oh, okay. He's got better books. things to do. He plays bagpipes, though. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's get back to this movie. So uh, we're going to get back to uh, Little House of Horrors, and when we come back, Cousin Dave is going to do something else that's going to blow our mind. I, I don't know what. <clears throat> I don't really want to know what, but we'll find out. Stay with us. I kind of like this chow mein. Uh, if it tastes a little bitter, it's because it's made of Chinese herbs and it's flavored with acromias and Epsom salts. There ain't another cook in a whole world like my ma. That's what your old man said before the louse ran out on me. You know, if you're gonna be married, you gotta be a good cook. Well, maybe you could teach me. You think they're getting married? Well, he hasn't asked me yet. Who hasn't? Seymour. Seymour's too young to get married. Look here, a boy's gotta go out and play around a little bit. Go out on the make and have a ball. Seymour, I don't wanna have a ball. I wanna be with Audrey. No, no, oh, look, Seymour. Seymour. You promised you wouldn't get married until you bought me an iron lung. But you've been breathing for years, Ma. Well, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, son. Seek, I wouldn't know you'd even a fly. Come out in the light where I could see you. Man, please don't shoot. Please, please. I'm on the gravest motion. If you wouldn't want to kill me, where would you hide the body? Don't worry, I'm not going to shoot you. Not unless you try something. Try something? I never tried anything in my life. I wouldn't try anything now. You want my money? Take it. You want I should go out and steal you some more? That's all right, too. I'll do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like your brand of hospitality. You'll excuse it isn't more. I'm only a poor florist. Yeah, yeah. We got about 30 bucks here. Come on now. Where's the rest of it? I was in here this afternoon. I saw about 30,000 people in here. They must have spent some money. Where is it? There ain't no more money. They came in to look on the plant. It's a big attraction. Audrey Jr. The plant. Don't try to snow me, Jim. 30,000 squares didn't come in here just to look for a plant. I want it. They, 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 I don't got no more money, honest. Believe me. OK, let's try this. One, two, three, four. No, I ain't got no more money, honest. All right, try it the other way around. Five, four, three, two. All right, all right, I'm ready. Okay, big bad, where? In the plant. In the plant. The big plant, Audrey Jr. Inside the big leaf. That's right, inside. How <laughs> you get it open? Just knock. In there. 
In there? Inside, in the bottom. I don't see anything. Way inside. Right in the bottom. I don't care what you got at the date with Audrey tonight. I am no more sitting up with that no good new plan. But gee, Mr. Mushnick, you don't have to sit up with it anymore. It's all grown up now. Excellent, smart guy. How do you know it don't be hungry no more? Well, because... Tonight you are staying. Then tomorrow they're coming and they're going to give you a trophy and then after that we are getting rid once and for all for that plan. Getting rid of it, why? Don't ask why, why? The end, into the garbage can. Aloha. Oh, yes, Mrs. Shiva. Oh, Seymour, the wonderful plant. Oh, that's all right, Audrey. I'll grow other plants, even more wonderful ones. I know you will. Did you figure out what we're doing tonight? Yeah, we're going to a place full of beautiful flowers. We have to stay here. Yeah. Well, never mind. We'll have a picnic. It'll be just like going to the country. Oh, Did you boy. Get the 3,000 pink azaleas for the arbor and the 9,000 yellow moms for the, for, for the border. Yeah, and the, the roses and we, for the front for and the right, back. No, around the back. What do you mean you're going to a picnic at night with that full cord girl? Don't you like Audrey, Ma? She's out after your money. I don't have any money. Oh, she's a smart one. She'll latch on to you until you get some, and then goodbye fortune. But Audrey's an honest girl, Ma. Yeah, never trust a woman who's too healthy. But Audrey had a bad cold a couple of weeks ago. Oh, a cold, a puny cold. Why don't you get yourself a real female with something decent like manana eucleosis or, or gallstones? Well, maybe she could catch something like that. The only thing she'll catch is you. And she'll take you off to some shady sanitarium and leave me to chiropractors and faith healers. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh. oh, gee, Ma. Don't feel sorry for me. I'll just find a nice wet alley somewhere and curl up and wait for the end. Oh, please don't die till I get back, will you, Ma? I'll take care of you. I'll always take care of you. I promise. Yeah. Bye. Mm. Gee, Audrey, I never tasted food like this before. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly, what does that cure? Nothing, it's just a food. Well, what good is it if it doesn't clear up pimples or shrink your sinus tissues or something? You're just being silly, Seymour. Seymour, what do you want to be? Well, I want to grow things. If I had a lot of money, I'd go to the South Seas where they grow the most fabulous plants in the world. Well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. I'd like to go to the South Seas, too. There's no reason why you couldn't go. Would you take me with you, Seymour? Oh, I couldn't very well go without you, Audrey. Why not? Oh, because... because I'm in love with you, Audrey. Oh, I'm in love with you, too, Seymour. Feed me. What'd you say? I, I was just kidding. I'm hungry. Seymour! I didn't mean it. Why did you say it? Oh! say that. Oh, yes, I did. I said it. I said it. Oh, I'm looking right at you. Uh, well, I'm a ventriloquist. You're a what? A ventriloquist. Feed me! Seymour, do you feel all right? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, then stop all this nonsense and kiss me. I'm dying from hunger! All right, if you're so hungry, eat something, but forget about me. Gee, I'm sorry, Audrey. Give me to eat! If you can't control yourself, I'm going home. I need some chow. Oh. Uh, got an empty stomach. Audrey, please wait. Listen to me. I've listened to all the nonsense I want to hear, Seymour. You're a nut. You tell me that you love me, and then you act like a complete idiot. Please listen, Audrey. I'll be able to explain everything soon. Well, why can't you explain now? Because so many things are so important. I want to marry you, but I got to take care of Mom. Well, that plant in there is going to make it all come true. Tomorrow they're going to give me a trophy and I'll be famous. I'll be a big botanist. 
And then we can go to the South Seas, just like we planned and but all. But that doesn't have anything to do with what went on in there. When you're ready to come to your senses, Seymour, then I'll talk to you. Good night, Seymour. I'm getting pretty tired of you. I need food. I don't care what you need. Look what you've done to me. You not only made a butcher out of me, but you drove my girl away. Shut up and bring on the food. Don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. Who raised you from a bunch of little seeds? Who fed you all them high-class fertilizers and sat up all night with you when you were sick? Nobody else would have done that for you. Do you think anybody else would have brought you human beings to eat? You're darn right they wouldn't. Well, I've helped you, and you've helped me. Now shut your trap and go to sleep. I'm tired. Crow boy! Turn around! Close your eyes. You are asleep. Open your eyes. Now you will do as I say. Do you follow me? Yes, master. You will go out and find me some food. Yes, master. Now be gone and waste no time. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Boswick, you're watching North Bay TV. Buy my underwear. Awesome. Huh? Welcome back to Creature Features. You know, I was just chatting with Cousin Dave here about his show and, and all the artists you have. You've got, like, actual talented guests who you make know, things. The heart of the show is about art. Um, artists. It's one thing that I look forward to every show is having someone from around the country who's an artist come in and just tell us about what inspired them what they create, what's next. Well, it was a bit of a dichotomy with a show that shows guests with things of beauty, and next thing you know, there's a man vomiting in a kiddie pool. Yeah, that's normal, though. That happens. Sometimes we'll have a great artist segment, and someone gets whacked, or there's fighting, but it's really about diving into showcasing these people. There's so many talented artists that no one really notices so, maybe there's a blip at a comic-con but it's tough even when you're doing it on your own and my show's a platform for people around the country or the world to say hey here's my art here's my etsy you like it great and and like i'm wearing these pins 
These are from an artist named Pseudo5. She was a clown character that showed up. They look like tattoos. They're crazy, right? They're beautiful. You look at it and you're like, ah, you just kind of go nuts. No, I think it's quite stylish. Yeah, what do you want? Something, you know, you want like a Coca-Cola pin? No, this is cool, man. It's so, different. So give me the artists that impress you the most. They all impress of me. Of course they do. But which one impressed you the most? Which one is the one that said, I want to buy one of your things? Mm. We had a guy named Skinner come on. From the X Files. Yeah, no, but and he's not Buffalo Bill kind of Skinner, but right. What it's do you like make? someone took psychedelic drugs and read D and D manuals and then went ahead and created not only art, but a three D pop up book and then frickin' vinyl action figures. It's like, hey, I'm gonna not do one thing but three things, maybe four. So he's quite versatile as well as talented. Yeah, I, I bought That's this nice. crazy vinyl figure. That's like a new thing. Nah, maybe it's been a around vinyl a figure. Vinyl figure. I what should have that? brought it. Mad Pigman. I, but what is it? It's a just a rare kaiju, right? Have you heard of kaiju no. creatures? No, it's from like Japan? a doll. Yeah, it's like really it's sick, like a doll. Sick stuff. Yeah, kind of. Oh. Yeah, vinyl figure. But it's a piece of plastic. It's like it's a sculpture. It's plastic, yeah. It kind of started off in the 90s with like, you know, vinyl. your tricks. Count Chocula, right? You remember those? Oh, no. Well, I was not in the You States. didn't eat that cereal, huh? Did they still make it? You're a lot thinner than me. You don't eat a lot of cereal. Oh, no. I love Captain Crunch. Yeah. All berries. Woo! And, and right. those frosted mini wheats. Uh, all right. I find those quite delicious. I'm sure if you work at Google, there's probably like a cereal bar. Well, you know, if we keep talking... We're going to be playing this movie late, and it's going to be breakfast time, and we're going to be actually discussing breakfast over breakfast. So mm. I think we need to get back to the film. All right. Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. You know, I like this film. I do. I, I genuinely just want to see do. more people get eaten. I hope you like it. I know Cousin Dave likes it. All right. Stay with us, Cousin Dave. Mm. We will be right back with uh, more Little Shop of Horrors, and we'll be back after the break. My name is Leonora Clyde. How's the rain on the rhubarb? Master is hungry. Well, hello there. I gotta find food for Master. Food I gotta find for Master. For Master, I gotta find food. Maybe I can help. Who are you? My name is Leonora Clyde. I love you. Master wants food. Let the old goat wait. The night is young, and so are we. Master doesn't eat goat. Well, what kind of food does he like? Ooh! <laughs> That's more like it. Kiss me. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Too bony. Too bony? Nobody ever told me that before. Beef is better than veal. Ah, uh, you're such a dodo. What do you call this? Chopped liver? <laughs> Master would like more fat. Speak for yourself, John. 
My name is Seymour. My name is Seymour. That's my name, too. Uh, are you interested, or are you just wasting my time? I never thought anybody would volunteer. Do you volunteer? Sure, I do. All right, if you're sure you want to volunteer. All right, my place or yours? I don't care. Well, flip a coin. I don't have a coin. Flip anything, silly. Well, there's a rock. <laughs> Wet or dry? Wet. search was narrowing, and we knew that soon we would have the killer. Not that we had any more clues than before, but we had to tell the chief something. I had that feeling in my bones that the mystery was drawing to its climax, and I was determined to be on hand. All right, out, out, out. Nobody is in. Today we have a special occasion for Seymour Krellboyne, which has invented the big plan. So I want everybody should please stay out of the way. We want Seymour! We want Seymour! We want I tell you, this business is worse than being a conductor in a revoluting door. I'll be glad when this day is finished. What's a celebration? They're presenting my son with a trophy. Yeah, what do you do, run away from home? Please don't look at me that way, Audrey. I want to talk to you. I'm sorry, Seymour. I just don't understand you. I'll explain everything after the ceremony. You, police, what are you doing here? Hey, there was something going on here this evening. Just thought we'd come by and keep an eye on things. Look, we don't need no eyes kept on nothing. Wait, wait, wait. The Society of Silent Flower Observers has arrived, and sunset is almost upon us. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. We are honored for to have you. Still working on those disappearances. We think they were murdered. Hey, look here, young man. That's no way to talk at a time like this. Let me see your tongue. Uh-huh. Now, what you got? Just the facts, ma'am. Trench mouth. I know, I had it back in 09. Better have that looked into, Frank. Whatever you say, Joe. Uh, Mr. Crowboy, uh, the sun is going down now, and uh, you do think those buds are going to open? I hope so. Because if they don't, Mr. Crowboy, we shall just have to present the award at another time. Oh, oh it's starting to open! It's the mark. That is open. <sighs> Isn't that the railroad cop? Look at the rest. <laughs> what do you think, Frank? They're all there, Joe. Yes, you're right. Mr. Crowboy, how do you explain this? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. That's right, officer. He didn't mean to kill them. Seymour, you promised you'd explain. Looks like they're getting away, Joe. Yes, you're right. Let's catch them. Right. Oh, now the float will be perfect. Yeah. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and Executive King accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. Everyone will want to know how you began. The world is obsessed with origin stories.
What's your story? A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. You can't control where it will land, only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how to protect your community from wildfires. You are watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. You wouldn't find him here with the toilets. Let's go back. You dirty rat plant, you messed up my whole life.
better to give up, gentlemen. You wouldn't find him tonight. Look, the door's open, Frank. Oh. He was such a good boy. <coughs> Seymour! I didn't mean it. And so ends Little Shop of Horrors. You know, that was a good film. I liked it. I mean, the whole thing with the plant. It, was it dead or not? Or what yeah. happened? I, I, I did, all I know is I just want to see like more and more people get eaten by plants. Well, you know, speaking of being eaten by plants, you brought your bag back. Oh, and, man. You know, you... I was telling him during the break that uh, I felt bad because neither Livingston nor I won the contest no man but sure tangella always wins you should see her like carnival. she wins every day i look at her she wins man. well no but i mean she's skilled she knows how to throw things and hit the prize hey you know what though i brought something for everybody. all right show me what all you right got. here's the thing because <clears throat> if all you guys failed i'd just give everything to the crew but he's a very giving a man baby dinosaur for oh, tangella oh, this, right? well she's already got something she gets more now she's got more well, hey. I, I don't want this so i think that's fine she's gonna love this you know just tea or some biscuits and yes oh, it's for livingston he's got yeah now it probably it only holds water like up you know, to here it, it broke once but i thought like, the skull cup would be kind of let me right? see this yeah. this that's his, Actually, not yours, looks man. looks somewhat like Livingston. It's no. got, like, no hair. Now, you guys could share these. Just some birthday hats when you're like, hey, it's a birthday. Oh, we'll put it on this. Yeah, right, right. D just don't no. light the candle. Otherwise, it'll catch fire. And well, there goes well, the mansion. It's a birthday. You're supposed to light the candle. And then when you guys are dissecting, you could be like, let's play Oh, doctor. no, this one. No, let me see this one. I like right? this. Yeah. But this one, what's this called? The Invisible Man? No, it's called the Visible Man. No, right? it's called the Guts Game. It's like, hey, what's this? The spleen? I don't know. It takes a, what's it. this do? It's got a battery. I don't, I don't know. know. All right. Yeah, we'll buy batteries. All right. Hey. Hey, look. <laughs> you might have to blur that out. Hey. No. This That's is special. Classic. This is for you for, for doing for creature features. All right. The suspense is killing me. Well, I could kill you with this, but I won't. This is from Circus of Chaos. An actual thing. And I want thing. you to have this. All right. It's a machete that it's got oh, blood on it. Lovely, you know. And this that's is, for you guys. So this if, is. Oh, it's heavy. If a guest is is out of line, oh, you just got, you hold court. It still has blood. Yeah. You know, this is the type of thing Tangela loves. So she's. That's yours. She will surely steal this from my room. You know what though? That stays here, man. I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna put it here, for now. Did you know I got a just machete wall on my set. I might have to tear it down. There's blood everywhere. I got to figure. I got a lot of problems That's on my amazing. show. Yeah. I, I don't, do not have a machete wall. No, it's, I you need should one. try it. It's good. I it's need one. Therapeutic. So, uh, Cousin Dave, how can people learn more about your show? Oh, easy. Circusofchaos.com. Okay, so it's a, it's a website. Circusofchaos.com. Yeah. yeah That's it. You type that in. Yeah. And boom. <laughs> You're you on can the look website. up characters and all the other garbage right. on there. All right. Play well, this around. is fantastic. Yeah. It was so nice to have you here. No, I love being here. You, you know, hopefully I'll, you know, I'll come back. We want you to come back. I won't eat all that food I ate early. I'm sorry, man. Someone was upset. Yeah. My kitchen is your kitchen. You are free to eat all the food you like because that means it's less food for me to eat. Mm -hmm. No lasagna in there, I noticed. I'll make sure that Livingston orders some. Huh. There's a place in the village. Oh, they've got wonderful lasagna. Huh. All right time to go home oh, it's crap. wonderful having you we will see you next time we have you here and we will see you next week because we're hoping you're going to watch the show if you don't watch the show it's going to be quite lonely here because we might not even have a guest <laughs> i have no idea who's coming next week Unless I spend the night. so you have a wonderful weekend and uh do something nice have a good night so cousin dave you know <sighs> as a child I always wanted to be a clown. And I'm wondering if there's any chance you might train me and maybe let me make an appearance on your show. Sure. Yeah. We'll kill you off. <laughs>